Chris. Well, with the number of people suffering from the flu on the rise in Spokane, those taking care of the most vulnerable are doing whatever it takes to keep that nasty bug at bay. Annie Bishop joins us now live in the studio with more on that. And new numbers released by the Health District indicate 72% of flu hospitalizations this year are those over the age of 50, a statistic the Rockwood retirement community does not want to be a part of. Since last week, Rockwood at Hawthorne has implemented extra precautions to keep the flu from spreading among its 112 residents. Those precautions include closing the salad bar, limiting group activities, and keeping people with flu-like symptoms isolated to their rooms until they feel better. Jacques Juckenthal, executive director, says two people have confirmed cases of influenza so far this year at the Hawthorne location, another two at the South Hill location. He credits the extra measures, good hygiene and extra cleaning from keeping the virus from spreading. We tend to go to the full scope of precautions immediately rather than wait for a widespread outbreak and then find we're trying to catch up. Our hope with the encouragement of our medical directors is to take proactive measures quickly even at the inconvenience for some of our activity programs, even at the inconvenience uh, to some of our resident uh, getting out and about. And a lot of things Rockwood is doing are stuff that we can implement in our own homes. Of course, washing your hands and cleaning doorknobs and sink handles more frequently. They're doing it about once every hour at Rockwood. Also, keep people away from your home who've been sick. Of course, if they're immediate family, they can be in your home. But if they're not, just let them stay away, not let them come in the house for a while. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXOY4 HD News. All right, thanks a lot, Annie. Well, police say